So if we're understanding this correctly, the public benefits charge is really all about usage. It's tied to how much we're using. So the less energy we use, the better. And it's theory. important for people who are on fixed incomes that can't afford things right now. So the question is, are there ways you can make your bill go down? NBC Connecticut Consumer Response. Response consumer reporter Caitlin Birchall has some options for you. Caitlin. It's a mouthful, just like dealing with <laughs> like what this public benefits thing is. That's why we needed Len. Now I'm here because I've heard from so many of you consumers frustrated by their more expensive bill and they're like, what do we do? So the Office of Consumer Counsel says people can get involved in the state regulatory and legislative process to push for change. And another thing, work on conserving energy in your homes to lower bills. The microburst that made its mark in Simsbury last week was a secondary slap in the face for David Zell. It was a quick hitter and it was localized, but it was about 36 hours before we had power. Zell wrote to NBC Connecticut Responds last week before the storm. He was shocked, like so many of you, by the increased cost of his latest electric bill. The charge for the public benefits piece of our bill went from 6% of the total bill to 26 percent. That's 18 to 96 dollars. A similar sticker shock for Carolyn Pantano of Danbury when she opened her bill. I lost my mind over it. She's already concerned about the public benefits impact on her winter bills. I don't know how families are going to afford to pay for this. Are people going to have to choose between their medication and paying their electric bill? Despite her frustration, Pontano's doing something to help with the cost. As you can see in her two bills, she's a savvy consumer that shops around for cheaper third-party supplier rates. Go to Energize CT to compare supplier costs. And Connecticut residents can break contracts at any time if you find a better deal. I break down how to do this on our NBC Connecticut Response website and app. We lost a total of 12 trees. All and this as Zell we cleans up storm damage, frustrated tree. by the length of his power outage and his bill, and no other options for where to get electricity. So let's talk about saving. If you can stay cool with a fan over an AC, you'll probably save. Office of Consumer Counsel says every degree you raise or lower that thermostat could impact energy costs by 3%. They also suggest running full loads of laundry in your washing machine. Don't do just small ones. And also using energy efficient light bulbs. I have a lot more tips online. There's a lot of information here, but we want you to, we want to help you save money. For NBC Connecticut Response, I'm consumer reporter Caitlin Burchell.